In this episode, we will explore tools that compare different design scenarios. The first tool we will look at is side-by-side. -side. When you activate side-by-side -side mode, the map view is split into two maps. You can activate different scenarios for the two map views and decide whether to synchronize the two map extents. The other tool is called Consensus. It shows the level of agreement across all selected scenarios and provides statistical and rendering methods for your choice. The Wilson lower bound method is good for small sample size. Based on the type of data you're assessing, there are different rendering methods that you can choose from. Features in green has higher consensus score, meaning higher agreement among scenarios. Once you have the result from the consensus tool, you can easily identify which sites are in highest agreement. From there, you can create a new scenario called development sites in consensus and copy paste the features in green to the consensus scenario. For the ones that have strong disagreement, it will be helpful to focus the effort on understanding the reasons for disagreement. In the next episode, we'll look at various options of generating reports from the project.